Hey y'all, and welcome back to another episode of TZ Teaches. I'm Sir Pinkbeard, and in this video, we're going to be looking at one of the coolest mesh modeling tools, the Spin Tool. Now the Spin Tool, uh, essentially the way it works is it allows us to extrude the selected vertices uh, around in a circle around the cursor where that exists. Now you'll notice that the cursor is this blue uh, point here, and it's actually the 3D cursor. So if we move the 3D cursor, it'll actually uh, change where we are generating the um, the new mesh. But if we'll just move that back, so Shift-C, the cursor back to the center, and we're good to go. Now, what I want to show you is that we have no vertices in our scene right now. We're in edit mode. We have no vertices in our scene, uh, no vertices in our object. And we can add in vertices by him simply hitting Control right click. All right, now control right click will add in a new vertex where there previously was none. And so we can add these in and just kind of outline the shape that we want. So maybe uh, we create a very basic goblet. That's gonna look weird. Uh, maybe we move this down with edge slide, that's fine. Maybe move it out a little bit. And so we have our basic goblet here. Now we select everything. Uh, since we did this orthographically, and the vertices are created on the uh, zero mark on the y-axis, as you can see, uh, we should be able to simply hit the plus button and then drag around 360 degrees and have it connect. Now we do have 360 degrees here. We can say, hey, auto merge, let's absolutely do that. And if it's exactly 360 degrees, then it will auto merge. But you'll notice if we redo that and just try to eyeball it, even though we get pretty close, if it says 360, um, or even if it says right now, it says 359, if we click into that, we see 359.474. So we have to get really close. So if we just type in 360 exactly, now it's generated for us the entire section. Now it won't just spin, um, vertices it will actually well it'll only spin vertices but it won't just spin like lines of vertices if we wanted to add say maybe a handle to this uh, what we could do is we could grab a face up here let's say that one and uh, move the cursor up there by hitting shift s and then cursor to selected and then we can change the direction that uh, we are actually going to create our spin around so by default it's set to the z axis but if you go up to the top left, you can actually change that to be the Y axis or the X axis, depending on what you're trying to accomplish. So if we switch it to the Y axis uh, and we hit the plus button and we duplicate them down, um, now we can add a little section there, but that's not actually giving us exactly what we want. So we'll take that out a little bit further, maybe move this down a bit, uh, and then we can continue the rotation. And it's not perfect, but if you continue to play around with it, you could get something that was pretty close, and that's pretty close, right? And so now we can see, hey, we've got a goblet, it's got a, a ring on it, and it's not great, but that took us all of like three minutes with an explanation to do, and I think that's pretty cool. Now, normals only do go one direction, um, so if we were wanting to do this like for a game-ready model, we would have to add in some extra vertices, but the same process would, the same principle rather, would still apply. I'm Sir Pinkbeard, uh, and this has been one of the cooler tools, the spin tool. So give that a shot as you make um, cylindrical model pieces. I just think it's a really fun thing that you can try. I'm Sir Pinkbeard, and I will see you in the next video.